Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you all how I take care of and style my sister's hair at home. Her hair is natural using these Alterna hair care products. I know a lot of us have been affected by the social distancing and stay at home orders and may not be able to get into your salon of choice for your hair visits, but you can still care for your hair and keep it healthy while at home. As you guys can see, her hair is natural as well as color treated, and she does prefer to wear blowed out styles or stretched styles with her natural hair. So that's what we'll be doing today is a flat ironing, but before we do that, I am sectioning her hair to deep condition it. And we went ahead and sat her under the dryer and let it deep condition for about 20 minutes just to really allow the deep conditioning treatment to penetrate her hair especially her ends that are color treated one thing about having had color treated hair personally i know is that it can definitely be prone to being very dry if you're not careful and so that's why i'm literally taking smaller sections and focusing the product on the ends and then lightly working it through and finger and denman detangling it and just making sure the product has been fully absorbed into her hair before following up with a applying heat. I'm using this deep conditioning treatment from Alterna Hair Care, which is a great brand. I've really been liking them for my curly hair as well as my heat styles, and it is a more salon grade product, and I would encourage you guys to definitely be using quality products even though you are using your doing and styling your hair at home. You still want to use products that may even have been recommended by your stylist, and one thing you can do right now is even reach out to, text, email them, and ask them which products would be best suited for your hair. So once she was finished being deep conditioned and blow dried, we went ahead and started sectioning her hair and preparing it for flat ironing. Now she has a stylist that she sees for her color who has recommended products that she can use both to maintain her color for her shampoo and conditioning as well as for her straight styles so as to be able to have healthy hair while having it within heat styling and so we're going to be using those products today which i'll show you guys in a minute one thing i will say is that if you are doing this yourself make sure to work in sections sections are great to work in if you're doing your own hair or if you're getting someone to do your hair just because they help you stay organized and help you avoid over applying heat we're lightly misting her hair with some Kenra product before going in. And that's the only product i'm going to apply guys and again this was recommended by her salon Beyond that, we're not doing a ton of heavy products throughout the hair. And if you've been to a salon where they press your hair out that's a quality salon, you'll notice most stylists don't use a lot of the stuff we see in YouTube tutorials normally. They keep it very simple. They like to press clean hair as opposed to hair that's filled with product. And so that's what we're doing today. We are just lightly pressing her clean hair. One thing I will say is that her roots are very thick, so I usually just lightly tap and go over those the most. And by the most, I mean two to three little hot passes, and then go down the shaft of her hair or the rest of the strands just once. And that seems to work. Um, if she wants more of a really, really smooth, 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 smooth look, I'll make sure to use the comb, a small barbering comb, not as wide even as this one. We were not able to find the barbering comb that day, but we were doing curls that day, so it was fine. But for her more smooth bob styles that she does, where it's just a bone straight look I definitely make sure to chase the flat iron with the comb and it does absolutely help to just get a more flawless look to the hair um, but what I will say is definitely we only go over one pass at the most two passes and I never go more than that and we also do not take the heat all the way up to 450 we keep it at 420 and these are the finished results guys and so hopefully this video was helpful I'll definitely link all the products we use below and hopefully these tips will help you with caring for your natural hair while at home remember to stay home guys and stay safe